enjoy the show. It's going to be the biggest event Hollyoaks Village has ever seen. Be amazed. Be prepared for the most spectacular, most astounding, greatest show on earth. <laughs> He's back. The evidence is out there. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna save my son. When a black boy carries a knife, no one cares to ask the reasons why. What happened to your eye? Like, no one just hits my boyfriend and gets away with it. I don't know how exactly, but I'm gonna get you out of this mess. I know that he didn't stab Saul, you did. There's something you need to know. That man deserves to be punished for everything that he's put us through. You're not thinking about us. You're not thinking about Bobby. I'm doing this for all of you. How can I tell Bobby that he's safe from his psychopathic granddad if I don't see this through to the end? Silas is after my son, and I need to protect him. I'm counting down the days before we enter the end game. You trust me to take care of my little situation in here? I'm not playing, and I'm definitely not scared of you. I trust you to get me out of this place. Tell him that he shouldn't expect to come home anytime soon. What are we even looking for? The proof that Joseph killed Saul. You must be the Buttershaws, the couple booked in for the viewing. It's over. It's my life now. This guy here is going to get his girl. Any excuse that you're going to make is one I've already made for you. Why is your problem? You, looking at me. You're the one looking at me. You're so desperate for a reaction. It's not my fault you lost the suitcases. Well, it's not my fault you didn't fill out the insurance documents properly. I've never been more humiliated in all my life. I'm going to bite the bullet and tell him that I'm going to turn Marley Salon into my gym. You? Are you telling me my business partner is a gangster? What I'm proposing would be more of a hostile takeover. I'm proud of you. Letting go of this place, letting go of Marnie. I'd wash that hand of yours if I were you. His are dirtier than they look. What have you done, James? James, why does this sound like a revenge diary? I need this person out of my life, or I can't move on. Sid? He's from prison. A trusted contact of mine knows exactly who ran you down. I need to tell my dad the truth, that it was me that tried to kill him, and I pray that he can forgive me. I never really cared about souls. <laughs> I've had plenty of time to think about how I end that particular chapter. I've rid the world of her filth. Who lives, who dies? takes all. Emergency services! Fire! Ambulance, please, everyone! It's all right. Granddad's here.